Hi, it's Hinda and welcome to Cooking Fantasies. In today's video, we're going to be making a delicious soft yogurt and strawberry cake that we'll be garnishing with some chocolate ganache and mascarpone strawberry cream. Very delicious, yummy, easy to make. Let's get started. For the yogurt cake, we'll need 150 grams flour, 3 eggs, 150 grams yogurt, 1 teaspoon vanilla sugar, 140 grams sugar, 1 teaspoon baking powder, 60 milliliters of vegetable oil, 20 grams chocolate, and about 2 big strawberries. For the chocolate ganache, 125 grams dark chocolate and 250 ml of heavy cream. For the mascarpone cream topping, we're going to need 200 grams heavy cream, about 3 big strawberries, 25 grams icing sugar, 2 teaspoons white sugar, and 150 grams mascarpone. To make the cake, I'm going to start by cutting the strawberries into small pieces, add about 1 teaspoon of the sugar to them, and just allow them to sit on the side for later. And now let's start making the cake butter. And for this, you're going to need your eggs to be in room temperature. This is important. To which we will add the sugar and the vanilla sugar or the vanilla extract, whatever you're using, and keep beating until the mixture becomes white and doubles in size. Once you achieve the fluffy texture, add the oil and the yogurt and resume beating to incorporate them. And now for the next step, before adding in the flour, we're going to take about one full teaspoon, add it to the chocolate chips, and then sift the rest into the butter gradually while incorporating with a whisk using just your hands. Add the baking powder with the last flour to sift, and you really need to delicately whisk it in to keep all the air for a fluffy and moist cake texture. For this cake, I used 25 centimeters, that's 10 inch a baking tray, but you can actually use any kind of an, any shape of baking tray you want to use. So pour the butter into the baking tray and spread it evenly, and then add in the chocolate chips and the strawberry pieces. My oven is preheated to 175 degrees Celsius, that's 347 degrees Fahrenheit, and it takes 20 minutes to bake. And if you're not using the same baking tray, that you might want to check your cake after the first 15 minutes. And as soon as it starts looking golden brown, you can use a toothpick to check if it's thoroughly baked. And then allow it to totally cool on a cooling tray before removing it from the pan carefully. And now to make the chocolate ganache, it's very easy. You're gonna heat the cream either in the microwave or on the stove. And as soon as it starts making the little bubbles, we're gonna remove it from the heat and pour it onto the chocolate. Allow it to sit for a few seconds and then use a spoon or a spatula to steer from the center outwards. And then pour it into the cake immediately before it's cold. Now we're going to let the ganache to set on the cake and meanwhile we're going to start making our mascarpone strawberry cream. And first thing we're going to do is prepare the strawberries and for this you're going to have to cut them into small pieces using a knife as small as possible. Then put them in a bowl and add the sugar to them and stir it. This will allow the strawberries to release all their juices, they will not be acid anymore and the taste will be enhanced. So allow them to sit for about um, 10 minutes before we go to the next step. And the next step now would be uh, processing the strawberries and you're gonna have to be very careful we don't want to get a juice or a smoothie we don't want we want to keep these little chunks we just want them to be a little bit more um, kind of a jam texture so you you really need to do it like one two pulses if you over mix it though then you're gonna have to add one to two, two teaspoons of cornstarch to them in order to make them again thick 
Now in a bowl, add the mascarpone cheese and add to it about the half of the icing sugar and beat it until you have a nice creamy texture. And in a separate bowl, start beating the heavy cream and as soon as you start bubbling, add in the rest of the icing sugar and keep beating until you have a nice creamy texture. And for a guaranteed result, I always place the cream and the bowl in the freezer for a couple of minutes before beating. Now use a spatula and incorporate the cream into the cheese gradually and use circular uh, movements for this from the bottom up while scraping the sides because we want to keep all the area incorporated and keep doing this uh, gradually until you have incorporated all the cream into the cheese. And then using just the same technique incorporate the strawberries. And be careful not to over mix it, you just need enough strokes to incorporate the two. I use the piping bag to easily disperse the cream on my cake, but you can also do this with the back of a spoon or a spatula, it really doesn't matter. What is more important about this cake is how this nice combination of taste, the mascarpone cheese cream with strawberry, the yogurt cake flavored with strawberry and chocolate chips and the chocolate ganache, they just go amazing all together. I cut some strawberries into quarters, covered them with dark chocolate and white chocolate stripes and used some shaved chocolate to garnish my cake and this is also optional and up to you but I would also recommend you to do it because it just tasted really amazing. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and you will be making this cake very soon because I really want everybody out there to try this cake. I cannot stop saying how delicious and refreshing it tastes. And also very easy to make but if you have any more questions please don't hesitate to ask me in the comment section and I will reply to you as soon as I can. I hope you enjoyed watching the video if so please give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to my channel and see you next week with a new baking recipe happy baking!